Hi, I'm Amber and I've moved from the UK to the US aged 28 with my husband Josh and our little boy Rory. I'm on a mission to explore the American culture and all of the differences from our old life in the UK. So join me as I travel around the States, seeing the sights, eating the food and meeting the people with some very special tour guides along the way. And to say thank you to the country that's welcomed my family, I'll be collecting lots of mementos and raising funds for some wonderful American charities. So be sure to hit subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok as I discover the land of opportunity. Good morning, America. Welcome to Josh's birthday vlog. Say, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Almost spent my money on Josh. My we, money, you mean? No, my money, actually. We are going to Miami Beach today. We're going to the South Beach area and today's plan is as follows. We are going to have a little wander along Ocean Drive, just kind of stroll around taking the scenery. We're going to go to Gianni Versace's mansion on South Beach for lunch, which we're very excited about um, because we've been wanting to do that actually since we moved and we've just been waiting for an occasion. This feels like the right time. And then we're going to go and hang out on the beach. We'll maybe have an ice cream. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We have to be back up in Fort Lauderdale by like 4, 4.30 to pick Rory up from daycare, so we're kind of on a limited time, but we're gonna jam in as much as we can. We have to navigate the I 95 first. Yeah, I know. We set off at like 10, it's saying we're gonna get there at 11. It's normally like a 30 minute drive without traffic, so you know how it is. But hey, we're on our way. We're gonna have a nice day. It was really cloudy this morning, but it's starting to get a bit more blue, so we're hoping that's gonna work in our favor. And it's a special day Thank 34. You. How was your birthday morning, Josh? So far, so good. Can't complain. Got the boy off to school. Yeah. Came home, had some lovely presents to open. Had a, uh, what do you call it? A, a treasure hunt. A treasure hunt. Had a treasure hunt around the house so I could find my presents. Which was? Well, do I say what you got first or what Rory got me first? Well, whatever you like. You're, well, you're in charge. Rory got me some socks, which Very I much need. Nice. Yeah. He got me a book on how to make cocktails, which is also necessary. <laughs> and a drawer for my coffee pods. <laughs> so that boy, that boy thinks ahead. He's, he know, he, he knows what's, what I really need. He gets that from his mum. He's a very practical thinker and he knows that gifts to do with organisation, they're just going to hit yeah, every he's, time. He's a smart kid. Very smart. Very smart. And, oh, your main present. Oh, sorry, I'm cutting you off. And my main present is... A trip to Memphis for the weekend where we are going to do a tour of Graceland. Who and got I, you that? You got me Who? that. Who? Oh! She's a keeper. She is a keeper. <laughs> she is a keeper. And I can't wait. I love Elvis. Always wanted to go to Graceland. Always wanted to go to Memphis, actually. And uh, it's, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Yeah, we're going so in like excited. a couple weeks for three nights when my parents are here to look after Rory. And we said, because if you've followed our journey until now we're still waiting on our travel permits as part of the green card application josh actually has his but mine and rory's haven't arrived yet so until they arrive we are prisoners of america so you could have got me a cruise by myself i, I could have got you a cruise yeah i know josh was like maybe we can go on a cruise for my birthday but there's no way because we can't leave the country so well, I can. you can i'll send you on your own if you want i would go oh my god what a loser but yeah so we've said we're going to use this time to do some like can you call them staycations when you're going to like different states because oh yeah because this this country is massive I know. we could do all of our holidays for the rest of our life in this, in country, this country, country i know i know and so it does it's kind of like a staycation but when you go on a staycation in the uk you're normally like driving for a couple of hours not not flying for a couple of hours then you'd be in spain or portugal or something yeah. so i don't know but we're we've t said we're going to do more of america and graceland is probably in your top three maybe top, even your top one top two top one yeah, yeah I've, so. I've always loved elvis and i, I want to want to go see graceland uh -huh. so and that's I also what we're going to see some I think the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's in Memphis, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. That would yeah, be cool. I know. We're going to do all the things that Josh wants to do, which <laughs> is going to be country music, and I'm going to scratch my eyes out. But anyway, that's for another day. Today, we're going to Miami Beach, so I'll see you when we get there. Okay, we've arrived in Miami Beach. We have parked, and I'm not going to lie, we didn't really come here with much of a like planned destination-wise. 
but our friends that live here had always mentioned Lincoln Road to us and we weren't far from that where we parked so we've come for a little wander it's really nice isn't it oh really cool it's pedestrianized which I like because you're always fighting with traffic in Miami and there's just lots of nice bars restaurants ice cream shops it's actually it's like what is it 11 30 in the morning and it's really quiet Everybody was warning us about uh, spring break. Obviously, we've not gone to the beach yet, but so far, there's barely anybody here. Nice. Didn't know this was the thing here. Gonna read about her. Josh just said it's the biggest set of tits she, he's ever seen, which I think is kind of rude if I'm honest. What do you think? <laughs> What's she about? Does she say? You and we are everywhere. Oh. Oh, there's a QR code. How very modern. She is a big girl. What does it say? I wonder what size feet she is. <laughs> Marco Cochran. About oh, are there more of her in other places? Doesn't say know. anything about her, really. But it looks like he does them in other places too. Looks like it. Cool. I mean, I don't dislike it. Ooh, different. Yeah. Hmm. She's very tall. We're on Ocean Drive. It's so quiet. And there is the ocean. It's exactly how you would expect it to be. Proper art deco, pastel colors. Having a nice time. Great time. <laughs> We're walking down Ocean Drive and we are on our way to Gianni Versace's for our lunch reservation, which makes us sound awfully posh, but don't worry, it's a set menu so we can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> your birthday, but you're not that worth it. No, I get it. So, uh, yeah, we are actually running like five or ten minutes late, but I literally made the reservation this morning and there were so many tables available. I'm hoping that won't matter, but we'll see you when we get there. And there it is amongst the other buildings of Ocean Drive, right onto the ocean, just over that little hill there. Gianni Versace's mansion, which is now a hotel and restaurant. And I don't know why I didn't know this until we were looking for things to do in Miami Beach and it came up. We watched that documentary years ago when it came out about the assassination of Gianni Versace. A fantastic piece of television, wasn't it? The docuseries. The docuseries, yeah. It was super, super interesting. Um, obviously, incredibly tragic. And we've been to Miami Beach a few times, and I don't know why we've just never even noticed never it. even noticed it, and, and definitely never noticed that it is now a business and not just you know somebody else's residence. So I love that we're going to be able to go in. But now that I look at it. Yeah, you can stuff. totally, yeah, it, it, it is, it just is. And it's just wild to think that this is where he lived and this all of this history that here. Kind of steps. Yeah. Wow, it's kind of weird, but I like it. Let's go inside and see what it's about. Josh is having the Gianni salad for his appetizer and I'm having the Caesar salad which is huge for perspective. <laughs> we also ordered a little mojito and a margarita which has got like gold in the top, looks kind of fancy. If there's one thing about Josh, 
he needs to know facts. He needs to know cold hard facts. So we're sat here enjoying our appetizer and he's researching Gianni Versace and the history of this house. So go, go tell him, babe. Well, in 1992, Versace was on vacation in Miami Beach when he walked down Ocean Drive and was immediately attracted to the house. Fast forward, he bought it for 2.95 million and then he bought Next Door, which was an Art Deco hotel, which is where we're sat right now, for 3.7 million so he could demolish it and put in the garden, the swimming pool and the south wing. So That'll be that then. And then he invested an additional $32 million in renovations. Wow. He added the south wing, the pool, the garden, turned 24 apartments into 10 large suites. Da, 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 da. Versace had planned to buy the vacant lot next door to the north in order to put in a second garden. But when his death intervened, it became part of the Victor Hotel. The renovation, interesting. The renovations took almost three years to complete. And in July 15, 1997, only five years after purchasing the home, Versace was killed on the front steps of the house on his usual morning walk. So that means he only got to live in it for two years, fully renovated before he was killed. Wow, after spending, what, best part of 40 million on the property in the Renault. And then it's changed hands quite a few times for the sold for, Donatello sold it for 19 million. They that's, then got, that's some loss. But they also sold a lot of the contents of the home at auction in New York for 28 million. Okay. And then it got sold again for 41.5 million. So it's, it's worth a buck. Wow. There you go. Interesting. Very. For our entrees, main courses, I got the salmon, which comes with vegetables, and Josh got the filet mignon, which did have a $10 supplement, was it? I think $10 supplement doesn't come with any sides, which he wasn't warned about, so you just ordered some what? Potatoes or something. He just ordered a side because needed. But it is delicious. Here's Josh's side of crispy roasties. They look good to be fair. Crispy, crispy. Yeah? No. Yummy. Okay, so for dessert, we both ordered the chef's special. So I got the strawberry shortcake chef special. Josh got the chocolate brownie chef special. And there is no denying I'm going to ask you to share them. <laughs> <laughs> What's changed? I don't care if it's your birthday. I want to taste all of the desserts. I'm a dessert girly. Hit me up. Try some on mine. I've got a mouthful. I'm not going to hurry up, I'm going to savour it. Cleanse your palate, just have a glass of water or sold, yeah. very strong margarita. Mm, fresh. Yeah? Tasty. Chocolate. Chocolate. Oh, darker than I expected. Not gonna lie though, I think this is better. <laughs> wanna fight about it? Or? No, I'll just keep mine, you keep yours. Good. <laughs> I still feel like really awkward filming until I see all of this, like influences in the wild. It makes me feel better. Having all the photo shoots along the water there. No shame, and I love it. Okay, we've finished our delicious meal. We've drunk half of our drinks and are feeling very lightheaded. I'm just going to give you a very quick little walk around tour of the rest of the restaurant because we definitely don't have the best seat in the house. So let's go have a bit of an explore. Okay, we've seen about <laughs> 10 people fall down these stairs in the time that we've been sat right next to the stairs. So I'm being very careful as I go down. Very beautiful stairs, but apparently very dangerous. And then this is like the lower floor of the restaurant, I suppose. All of this mosaic and pebbling. Very nice, very nice. And then these are the best seats in the house because you've got all of the people having all of the photos.
so pretty. And that's the view. Our table is just up there. Super nice. Very special experience, wasn't it, darling? Fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah. Good nice food. Yeah, food history. Was, I mean, for $38, I feel like you can't really complain if you got served school meals, but it was, no, it was, it was not bad good. at all. It was very pretty good. good. And yeah, history. all of the history. Josh is in his element. He's oh, like, okay. going to go home and watch the docuseries all over again. Yeah. <laughs> I might right. buy it. What, the house? The mansion. <laughs> I don't think so. Right, we're going to quick change in the car and then, whoa, what the hell is that? Yeah. What is it? Stupid car of the day. I have no idea what that is. Be careful of the red plate. What planet are we on? What planet are we on? Um, okay. Yeah, quick change in the car and then we're gonna go hang out at the beach. So see you there. All right, successfully changed in the car. And now we're going to the beach. Beach. Oh my god, my belly is so full. Why did I not pee in that restaurant? <laughs> I should have peed. Could have peed in Versace's house. <laughs> Could have peed in Versace's house. You know, I always like to check out the bathrooms in posh places like this, so I don't know why I didn't do it. Missed Stupid. out. Missed Stupid. Out. But anyway, we're walking up to the beach now and everybody's warned us, don't go to the beach in March because of spring break. So we'll see if we've made a grave error, but I have to say so far everywhere we've been, not, not busy at all. So we'll see. It's Maybe quiet. everyone's just at the beach being assholes. Soon to find out. Popo are here. There's a sign saying the beach closes at 6 p.m. No loud music, no open alcohol, so you never know. We might be safe. Miami Beach, baby. Not even busy, man. All that trash talk. It's maybe Quiet. not spring break yet. That's what I thought. But I, I put up a story that literally today saying we were going today, and there were a few people that were like, don't go on the beach in March. You will die. Like, a bit extreme, is it not? Well, that's what I now think that they were being extreme because it's mostly families and it's quiet. And the popo are here if there's any trouble. Picked a little spot. My towel boy. <laughs> spread it out. Hey, Bertha, you spread it out. <laughs> this is us so i don't know if we've just like not gone to a cool spot but this is only like slightly busier than fort lauderdale on a weekend i expected because we're in miami that it would just be busier anyway but like we came we came out of the mansion on ocean drive nipped to the car park to get changed and then just came straight back across ocean drive and onto the beach so it's quiet perfect yeah it's great easy wasn't hard to find a spot, so this is where we're going to chill for a, an hour or so. Catch some rays. Yes. Still using my mic. Thanks. You sprayed mine in SPF, so that might cost you 250 bucks. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> right, we're going to chill out. See you again soon. She's a little nippy. Um, that was lovely, wasn't it? It's a great day. Had yeah. a lovely birthday. Fantastic day. Thank you for joining us. We've had a lovely day, and I uh, hope you get the big man now. Oh yeah, I've got to go get Rory finish off your day we were gonna go for a bike ride tonight um but i don't think we're gonna have time before dinner maybe we can have a little one after dinner because yeah. it's lighter nights now isn't it but we're gonna sign off the vlog now because my phone is dying and overheating and it's just really unhappy with me so thanks for joining us thanks for watching see you next time <laughs> yeah josh has learned that from me thank you <laughs> bye